thereof. Very level break. This is the Bahrain Turf Club Desmond Stakes. Group race over the mile. Rada Bag is disputing the early running with Boundless Ocean. In between them, the Grey Ferry Voice of Angels followed the end of the first furlong Charter House. And alongside Charter House is Marbling. Heading towards the six furlong point and it's Boundless Ocean. Moving on ahead, the Voice of Angels, Charter House on the inside of Rado Bag. In between the pair of them is Marbling, who's followed by Stable Companion Juncture. Eskimo Comet, last of the seven. Coming up to the five furlong point, the end of the first three furlongs, and it's Boundless Ocean and Kevin Manning leading by just over the length. The Voice of Angels, Dylan Brown McMonigal in second place, disputing third. Charter House, Shane Foley on the inside of Rado Barg and Ben Cohn as they come up to the four, the halfway stage. They're followed by Marbling Juncture and Eskimo Comet. Boundless Ocean by under length to Voice of Angels, Rado Barg inching closer on the outside with the nose band nudged along on four, this Charter House. Followed past the three by Marbling Juncture and Eskimo Comet written in seventh and last place. They turn their heads for home and it's Boundless Ocean apparently going well in front. Turns in a length clear to Voice of Angels, Radebarg next. And then Charter House with Juncture coming into it on the outside of Stable Companion, Marbling leaving behind Eskimo Comet and kicking a couple of lengths from the front is Boundless Ocean. Juncture has gone after the favourite and they're followed by Voice of Angels, Radebarg and Charter House. It's Boundless Ocean from Juncture moving away from the rest of the field. It's Boundless Ocean digging in here from junctures they run up to the finish boundless ocean will win it by three parts from juncture five lengths to charter house radabog and fourth trainer jim bulger is with us now after boundless ocean justified favoritism in the bahrain turf club desmond sakes firstly congratulations jim what did you make of the horse's performance tonight uh, i'm very happy with him um, over a mile he needs pace and uh, it was fairly obvious that we might not get it so uh, kevin decided to let him roll and it has worked out very well. It has indeed. And at all times, we were pretty happy watching the race that he was going to hold them up. Uh, yes, yeah, I was reasonably happy all the way. But as you, as you know, it's not done until it's done. Oh, but, I know it well, Jim. <laughs> yeah, but uh, uh, no, I, I was happy with him all the way. This was an important first win for the new owner as well. How did that association come about? Uh, well, he came to me for the horse. So uh, he's obviously a very good judge. <laughs> so... Hopefully he'd be very lucky for them. And Jim, is there a long-term plan for the horse now that he has changed hands? Yeah, well, he'll run in the champion stakes here and uh, then most likely he'll be off to Saudi. That's where the new owner is based, I gather, is it? Yes, yeah, and uh, the big target will be the, the, uh, the Saudi Cup or one of the lesser races at the end of February. And Jim, has he been bought with an eye on a stallion career as well further down the line? Uh, he would have, yeah, but that would probably have to be in Ireland, so... He might well end up back here. Plenty of water under the bridge before then. And Jim, obviously the sponsors of this race, the Bahrain Turf Club, are also backing the Irish Champion Stakes, which sounds as though it's going to be where he's headed next. Are you excited by that news? Uh, oh, definitely, yeah. It's, it's a major boost now for the race. And the race deserves that. It's, it's one of the best races in the world. So uh, it's, it's entitled to have an enthusiastic sponsor. I know it's a huge favourite of yours. There's no chance this horse could end up in Bahrain on his way to Saudi, is there? Um, I don't know about that now. Uh, I won't be training him for Saudi, you see, because uh, uh, our new owner has a trainer in Saudi. Okay. Yeah. So is the Champion Stakes likely to be his final run for you, or will you have him a little bit longer? It could well be. I'll be trying to twist his arm and go to Larsham. Yeah. <laughs> OK, we'll watch this space, Jim. In the meantime, thanks a lot. Well done tonight. Thank you. Thank thanks, you. Gary.